da, 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 da. Now, I could, you know, stand here and try to chill out the plush that we have right now on makeshift with Sienna. That's fully funded and a guaranteed sale and would absolutely give you serotonin every time you hugged it. But I'm not going to do that. <sighs> Got him. Hey, sorry for being weird lately. It's just that I've been weird lately. It's definitely going to happen again. I tried to convince my mom that I hadn't stayed up all night, but then she told me that she heard me clapping along to the Friends theme song every 20 minutes. Why are trans women so pretty and trans men so handsome? Why do aromantics give such good hugs? Why does Joltik want to be lifted to the stars by the bi and pen? Joltik is confused. Oh my god, my other son! Writing prompt. The news were shocking. In one week, a gigantic meteor was going to hit the earth and obliterate it. Chaos ensues. Anarchy breaks out. Governments fall. A week later, everyone braces as they see the meteor. Miss the earth. Barely. Things get awkward. Pretty sure there's a lot of fan fictions for that prompt right there. But not about government falling. <laughs> Gross. This chicken nugget I got is shaped like a heart, and I really think you should look at it. Aww. You, you gonna eat that? Game Theory, Elder Scrolls series. All the sentient species from the myrrh to the beasts are all descendants of mountain goats. Reasoning? All you who are morbid right now climb to the top of the throat of the world without using the 7,000 steps in your first playthrough of the game, and you all did it with ease. Coincidence? I think not! <sighs> As you Hadouken the rug. DM while the party is fighting the rug of smothering. I'm sorry, the what? Hey, instead of a stoic hero and a chatty villain, or a chatty hero and a stoic villain, imagine if they're both chatty. Just the villain trying their best to kill the hero while the two of them have an in-depth discussion about the opinion of pumpkin spice. No, but seriously, orange is a really fun color. <laughs> but your entire room? Whoa! I'm not painting my entire room orange. <laughs> oh. Well then, why did you ask my opinion on paint colors if you're not going to listen? This is now my favorite stage, for one reason, and one reason alone. Well, I didn't see you. Wobbin. <sighs> Six out of ten, Pat. All I can do is rotate a fictional man so fast in my mind he starts to get motion sickness. Andy, quick, I need you on this one. Okay, take this picture of Rife and Medstars. Now spin him around. Ah, thank you. Might fuck around and read a 500 page physical published book in one sitting like it's 2006 and I'm being bullied in middle school, so I take refuge in the library and hail books at a frightening speed that I've not been able to replicate since. God damn, OP, you didn't need to just kill everyone who grew up with undiagnosed ADHD like that. Well, shoot! I've learned something! To be honest, there has never been a fictional character I've actually wanted to date. Like, I want them to date each other. I don't want myself as a person to be involved in this scenario whatsoever. What would I add to this narratively? What's my thematic purpose in the narrative? That's immersion breaking. I'm the director, bitch, not the actor! Don't hide this in the tags, that's exactly it. The worst part about having mental health issues is that you're seemingly required to have a breakdown in order for people to understand how hard you were trying to hold yourself together. How dare you say such a thing to me? Yeah. It's like when people say, oh, this, this computer's not working so good. And they're like, no, that seems to be working fine for me. And then it blue screens, and they're like, oh, oh, we did have a problem. Notes. Three cheers for the brain cell! Hip, hip, <laughs> hooray! Hip oh, shoot, I forgot how to count to three now. Alex Hirsch, anytime he can, and sometimes when he can't. I've come to make an announcement. Disney is a bitch-ass motherfucker. They're pissed off because my silly kids show. That's right. They look at my harmless joke and they censored it. And I said, that's dumb. So now I'm making a call-out post on my Twitter.com. Disney, you got a small dick. It's the size of this walnut, except way smaller. Fuck you, Disney. Fuck you. Oh, God. Bill's pissing on the moon. 